Tonight on Live at Five with Murray Pellegrino, I'll be talking to Mark McGee about the phenomenal chart entry of Jackal Trade's album Trip Hazard Advisor. Mate, I couldn't believe the news. I was just saging the wheelie bin, and then I got this phone call from Paris. This is Mark McGee, formerly of the Gyro Babies, now nominated for the best hip-hop album with his new project Jackal Trades in the 2018 SAMA Awards. Yes, JT, 4 TTT, 2K18. Yes, JT, 4 TTT, 2K18. Yes! McGee is now a self proclaimed guru. Yeah, I'm a guru now. Um, I've been a guru now for about two weeks in total. It started when someone introduced me as Mark. He's a bit of a music guru. And I thought, no, I'm no. And then I thought, how do I know I'm no? And I thought about it a bit more and I thought, you know what? I'm a guru. Nobody's born a guru, nobody says, oh, I'm a guru when they're first born, but at some point in their life they just say, do you know what, I'm a guru. And that's what I did, I'm a guru now. I just bought some, that day I just went, I thought, I'm a guru now. I went to the shops, bought some posh tea, started wearing sunglasses indoors, and started manifesting all the good vibes. <laughs> Jackal Trades follow Barrowan's success with the live tour. You know, the live the live show itself, we we don't know for this tour who, who the live band's going to be, but obviously the Barrowans, we had to make some last minute substitutions because some people couldn't make it in the end. So we had Gordy Duncan Jr. on the drums, we had Martin Windybank on guitar, and we had Murray McGrinder on second guitar and bass. And we also had um, Sevka, we had Becca Starr, we had Ash Malecki, Astronomic, and we had Josephine Sillers as special guests, and we had Andy Martin on the decks. So say this tour, you can expect any of those people and other people, we don't know exactly, we'll see how it's going to be, but, you know, I promise a good show, I promise, uh, I promise green tea, and um, I promise some controversial claims about who's number 10 in the charts. The Jackal Trades album Trip Hazard Advisor entered the charts at number 10 in the second week of October. I first heard the news about us getting into the top 10 from Paris initially and um, we were very pleased but not a surprise because the French people have always loved Jackal Trades but then before we knew it we were getting news from Rutherglen, Balak and places like that all over Scotland and then I was confused because it seemed weirdly enough that Scottish people were liking something with a Scottish accent. Guru McGee launched the album with the mantra, if you build it, they will come. If you build it, they will come. Yeah, I did invent that. I also invented, if you believe you can achieve and turn that frown upside down and smile while you dial. I invented all of that back in the call centre days. And I don't know why Loki's claiming that he invented it, but he's closer than, say, Kevin Costner. The next person that mentions Kevin Costner is getting blocked. People think Kevin Costner invented everything, and it's not true. It's not true. And then other people are saying, oh, the Bible said it first. Look, I've not read the Bible recently, but I don't remember the Bible saying that. I think the Bible just, they rewrite that every year, don't they? They rewrite that every Christmas. Or every couple of years anyway, it's like the Guinness Book of Records. And where are the Guinness Book of Records? You know, there's no doubt that we have broke records. No management, no budget. Nobody gave us a chance of getting in the top ten. And here we are. Not just in the top ten, but on top of the top ten. Number ten, exactly how we predicted it. We manifested this reality. And the mainstream doesn't want to give us credit. Paris knows we're in the top ten. Australia knows we're in the top ten. Parts of Ayrshire, no one in the top 10. Yet when I check my teletext in the city centre, 
It's some other push. And I don't know why this is happening. I, I didn't see this coming at all. I had no idea this was going to happen. But some experts have been chatting with my lawyers and they suspect it's a regional Mandela effect and it's ongoing. And the only way we can break through the mainstream force field is by listening to the album or, you know, on Jackal Trades, Trip Hazard Advisor, if you stream it on Spotify, if you download it on Bandcamp or buy a CD, every single listen, stream, download and CD chips away at that mainstream force field. And then you can manifest the reality that all the open-minded parts of the country, like Lockerbie and Balak, they're now seeing that Jackal Trades is number 10. And I think we owe it to ourselves to, to bring the underground to the forefront. What does the SAMA Award nomination mean to Mark McGee? It's obviously it's nice to be nominated for a SAMA Award, but I don't need validation from any award. You know, I, I get validation from the, the twinkle in my friend's eyes, the gentle bristle of the wind, and chart placements, obviously. You know, getting into the charts, that, that's validation enough for me. The album itself, Trip Hazard Advisor, is about growing up in this oversaturated information age. The mistakes that we make, the way that we rate our day-to-day -day existence and compare it with other people. It's basically hard to be successful in this society without being a total cunt. And that album's about that, about how you do make mistakes and... Yeah, yeah, I made mistakes. I did some bad stuff I'm not proud of. Uh, I used to go to the bookies when times were hard and I wanted to write and I didn't have a pen. I would go into the bookies, steal a wee blue pen or a wee red pen and I wouldn't even stick a coupon on. I would just put that pen in my pocket and go home and write probably write about how I was a good person when deep down it was written with stolen blood money ink I used to go to McDonald's and I'd order something and they would say are you sitting and I'm taking away and I would say oh I'm taking away and I would just plank my arse in that shitty plastic chair and just eat sitting in I'm not proud of that either crazy. People think Kevin Costner invented everything. Kevin Costner invented fuck all. It was Scotland that invented everything. 